Hello friends, welcome back. Spring is almost here and that means allergy season. My husband really struggles every year and these are going to help him sleep at night. He showers at night, so these are really gonna help open up his sinuses. So I thought I would share with you. So I'm going to be making a couple of different varieties and it's going to depend on how bad my husband's allergies are for which one he's going to choose. So one of them has Vicks Vapor Rub in it and the other one is just more of a Breathe Easy. So of course I'm going to have the recipe down in the description box below but these are both very basic bath bomb type recipes. So you can see clearly when I've added the water, it really foamed up. So you don't want to add all the water at once. You want to add just a little bit at a time, a couple of drops, and you want it to get to a consistency of wet sand that really kind of sticks together when you um, hold it in your hand. So I'm adding my oil directly to the mixture. Some people mix it in the water. I find when I do that, I don't use all the water and I want to use all of that essential oil. And I'm also going to be using a ice cube tray that I found at the Dollar Tree. This is perfect. It's the perfect size and it's uh, flexible at the bottom and easy to pop them out once they've dried. So clearly I packed them in and just going to let those set aside while I make my second batch. So this is actually my preferred recipe for a bath bomb or a shower melt. So I'm using three teaspoons of Vicks. You can use between two and four depending on how strong you want it. And I'm also going to be adding a Breathe Easy essential oil. It's a pre-mixed essential oil and I found that at Walmart and it was right next to the vitamins. So I'm also going to be adding frankincense and sweet orange. The sweet orange just adds a little bit of a fruity scent to it, but the frankincense with the Vicks really opens up your sinuses. So once I get this to the consistency that I like, I'm gonna go ahead and pack it into this flower mold that I found at Walmart. So if you want this one in particular, rush down there right now because I found it in the Easter section. I think it was around $2, $3 maybe. And I just thought it was so cute and it would work for any time of the year because it's, it's just a flower. So if you don't have a mold, you can use a tablespoon and you just pack it into your tablespoon until it's nice and tight in there and then pop it out and you can put it on a cookie sheet to dry just like that. And you're going to want to let these dry overnight. So I found these at Walmart as well. So this is a candy container that I found in the wedding section. It's got a divider in it. It was, I think, $5. It's got the lid and I found these little clear plastic tongs for 50 cents a piece and some stickers. So you get six chalkboard stickers and it comes with the chalk. So I'm just gonna label these for my husband. I'm just keeping my label simple so he knows which one is which. And you could add food coloring to these as well. So once my shower melts have dried completely, they just pop right out perfectly. Um, that Dollar Tree ice cube tray is perfect and I can fit all of them in one side of that candy container and I absolutely love how these flowers turned out. They show all the detail of the flower and I think those are going to be the perfect size for the melts with the Vicks in them because you're really going to want to stay in that shower and open up your sinuses and that particular shower melt is going to last just a little bit longer in the shower. So the tongs are going to be great for reaching down in there and pulling out those littler ones. 
and I absolutely love how these turned out. So I hope that they're really going to help my husband. Um, when his allergies are really bad, I do pair the Sleep Easy essential oil in the diffuser and let that run in the bedroom at night and that really helps. So I hope this helps you guys as well and I hope your allergies are not that bad this year. So anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, have a great day. Bye-bye.